Hey there guys, um, I've not uploaded for a couple of weeks because I've uh, been quite busy. Um, not only that, there's been very little propagation, um, so there's not been uh, much in the way of contacts, although South America, Brazil and uh, some of the states have been coming through, but very, very low down in my particular area. It's not been um, very good for the for the propagation. So um, I've caught up with a few things at home, and I've had some parcels delivered, um, which I've not actually managed to open. Uh, this one here being one of them, I've um, started opening this one already to uh, cut down on the noise. Uh, so I thought today I'd get around to. Uh, opening this box up although I do know what's inside it it's just that I've not had enough time to uh, be dealing with it um, so let's go ahead and uh, open this one up right so this paperwork put that to one side I'll read that later Looks like it's the invoice. Um, so, here we go. Right then, so the keen eyed ones of you will already see that it's got RM on the box. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, box out of here and close the box back up. Is a, is a platform to put this box on. Right, okay. Right, here we go. It's um, as you can see on the box, it states that it's uh, an RM Italy KL703 linear. Right, um, I'll just set the camera up a little bit better so. You can get a better view of it. Sorry about the shaking. Right, here we go. Right, so let's uh, just pop the lid and give you a first glance at the linear. There we go. We have a, a manual. Um, tells you all about it. The uh, the information you'll need to operate and run this uh, linear to its best potential. Um, so, I'll just put that to one side. And, uh, before taking it out of the box, <laughs> by the way, as you can see, these um, these two fans here on the top are actually the size of a uh, CD case. So, quite a substantial size fans on there. If I'm doing a bit of research on it, they are virtually silent running fans. So the linear is a 25 to 30 MHz linear and it was particularly developed for the 10 meter band but it will work just fine on 11 meters for those that are thinking of investing in one. Uh, it doesn't take any modifications or anything. Um, as some larger linears do to run on 11 meters but uh, this one uh, is just fine um, it is actually a, a narrow band um, linear so it, it will it can be used for all all the narrow bands um, it requires a 13.8 volt supply which is particularly good for mobiles um, so it'll be able to run off your battery no problem at all as long as it's uh, got a good uh, ampage drain on it. Um, the linear itself, um, it um, it takes a 30 watt up to a 30 watt input. So from one to 30 watts you can drive this linear. I do know some people that have um, put more watts into it, um, and they can drive it pretty hard. And I've seen certain videos that have been done on that. Um, it also has a, a RX receive amplifier 
26 dB to pick up those uh, weaker signals. Right, so let's just um, take it out of the the box. I don't quite know which way. Oops, the camera's still on it. Sorry about that. So we'll just uh, take the packing out. Right, I've got another linear just on standby here, which I'm going to show you shortly as a size comparison. So I'll try and take the very well packed and it's, uh, oh, it's very very heavy very heavy indeed four point two kilos is the weight um, so we'll just take that away for now just remove this box the linear back down if the box will hold it without it falling through it's very heavy as I say 4.2 kilos um, right so size comparison the other linear I've got here is one that I've used before it's a RMKL Italy uh, 400 um, which is this one here and now I thought this one was actually quite a large linear. Um, this one will push about uh, 180 watts on FM. Um, probably about 350 a push on SSB. Now that's quite a, a large linear in itself. But size comparison with the, as you can see, it, it looks tiny compared to this this is a huge monster of a um, of a linear so first we'll take a, a quick look at the back of the linear um, it doesn't come with the power uh, cable to run it you have to purchase that separately so as you can see on the back you've got the RTX and the antenna uh, SO239 sockets uh, war warranty void if seal is broken just here and as you can see the green plug that they put on these now which uh, is replaceable if it ever gets broken you can buy those separately um, is a says 13.6 volt but you can actually run it up to 14 volts if you wish um, but I wouldn't um, emphasize uh, putting any more than 14 volts into it so as you can see the top two very nice large fans it's beautiful looking linear um, and we'll just now take a, a look at the front it's very heavy so I'm trying to be very careful with it and balance it on this box so as you can see there it's um, got the name on front the KL703 uh, the just hold this a bit steadier because it is a weight and a half this is so you've got these um, switches on the front and the preamp very nice quality click to the switches and then you've got the amp switch on and off and then you've got the three position power switch the middle is high uh, top is middle power and the bottom is low power and then you um, have your band mode switch uh, which uh, the bottom as you can see is SSB single side band upper and lower AM and FM designated there look most linears just have um, AM but this one states it's AM FM but I'll say a little bit more about that when you do key up on the amplifier um, the TX here that lights up and I think there's something else that lights up from looking at the research I've done on it. So I'll just place that there again. Um, and then I'll come back to the notes because I've made some notes about it. Uh, right, so as I've just explained, it covers uh, SSB, carrier wave, AM and FM. Um, and also it will 
do all data modes between 25 and 30 megahertz um, for different types of uh, transmitted signals on the data side of things right uh, outputs okay so the linear as um, well I'll just say that this this one here has uh, four pills inside it uh, I think they're MRF 455s in this one that's four of them um, now this one is a transistorized um, amplifier so there's no warm up period it's just switch on and go uh, so the outputs in this one you have um, 16 uh, what are they now? 16 RM3 MOSFETs inside this one. So yeah, that's uh, 16 transistors in this one. MOSFETs. Uh, the maximum IP current um, is 50 amps for this, this linear. Um, and it takes around about, to run it comfortably, around 60 amps uh, from a decent size uh, power supply unit. Uh, this one I'm, run, I'm going to be running off uh, two 50 amp power packs in series which I've already sorted out so I will be doing some on-air testing with this and uh, make, maybe make a video about that if, if you want to see that uh, do put a note in the comments um, and, and, I'll, and I'll get around to doing that for you um, so like I say 60 amp PSU to run it comfortably um, the input fuses, you've got four times 15 amp fuses. They're onboard fuses within the linear itself. I'm not going to open it up just yet. Uh, I don't really want to break the seal with it being new because, as I say, I've only just taken it out of the box after it's been sitting around for a while. And I don't want to, um, you know, void any warranty, uh, you know, in, until I've set it up under the correct um, parameters. Um, so, and test it out. I want to make sure it works okay first before I open it up and uh, have a look. I do actually know what it looks like um, inside, and I'll, I'll add a picture of that in the video. Um, so yeah, right. So the operating pep on sideband of this this linear is 500 watts. That's half a kilowatt. So it is a half a kilowatt linear when it's been set up. Um, properly uh, you definitely need to get the right correct AWG uh, wire for the back um, I've ordered some 8 AWG for this one so those of you that know the thickness of wires actually know that that is a, a good size wire to cover the ampage from the uh, from the power supply itself right um, as I say, it's a 500 watt half a kilowatt linear. Um, the input is 30 watts. It can be driven a little bit more than that, quite safely as well, but I won't be doing that. I want this one to last me a while. So I'm going to be kind of gentle with it. Um, so all my export radios that I have, um, I can feed it directly into this without worrying about hiring and lowering the uh, wattage on the meter all the time which I'm constantly doing when I'm running my other linear which is a KO Italy RM505 505V V standing for ventilated um, so yeah it's uh, a much more substantial linear this one is um, it will run on all bands uh, potentially half a kilowatt with a 30 watt input um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about this you know I just want to show my subscribers uh, you know what you know what, I, what I'm uh, what I've bought so the maximum bypass power for this linear is uh, 50 watts so if you're just running any radio um, and you're running it through this while it's switched off, the, the maximum uh, bypass wattage from any radio is uh, 50 watts, no more. So you have to keep within those parameters. 
Um, obviously, when it's switched on, the maximum that I'll be putting through it will be 30 watts. Um, I think that's about all I can say. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's also got an um, electronic switch internally uh, with inversion polarity protection. So if you was to wire it backwards for any reason, um, it it has got protection for that on board. Um, I think that's about all I can say about it. Um, but yeah, it will a 30 watt import um, with a AWG that carries the right ampage for this linear. Um, Potentially, if everything's running okay, um, you should get around, it will feed each band, such as AM, FM, uh, single sideband carry wave at 500 watts and no more as, as it is here, um, which is a stock. So I think that's all I can basically say on, on the linear. Like I said, I'm just reading from notes here. Um, but it's just uh, something that I saw and I just thought, well, I'd really like to give one a go. So we'll have um, one final look at the front of it and um, give you a bit of a close up. It is a weight and a half. 4.2 kilos is a lot when you're holding it at um, the arm's length. So, so there we go. The KL703, and um, we'll see um, what it does when it's on on the go and it's all up and running, which I'll make a video about that in the future. And again, the size comparison with the RM Italy 400, which <laughs> is a substantial size linear, is just nothing in comparison here to this monster of an amp so guys um i think that's about all i can say on it and uh i'll get it up and running and we'll see uh what it actually does and um, i'll make a video on that in the future so uh yeah and hoping to put some more videos up of contacts i do have a few that i, I could upload i just been that busy um as i say it's it took a while for me to unbox this, but I did know what was inside the box. So when we being busy, I wasn't rushing to open it, but I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So yeah, uh, any comments you want to make, uh, just put them down below. And um, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, um, by all means do so. Okay, guys, as always, uh, until the next time, goodbye.